If you are a Windows user and you've been struggling to get a second monitor, especially hooked up with an iPad, wishing there was something similar to Sidecar, this video is going to cover the ways that I've found to get the best latency free uh, uses of your iPad as a second monitor. And this is going to be a 2022 update with all the latest updates. And we're going to go starting from the top with what the best software is to use. So right now in uh, may 2022 this is or actually excuse me april it's about to be may unbelievable how fast time flies uh we're looking at something called duet so if you look at a lot of reviews on youtube or a lot of reviews just on reddit a lot of people say that this thing does not run as fast as it could be running but in uh recently in february around that time they made an update that had significant reduction in latency and improvement for wired users so i went ahead and i made a previous video on this but i recorded it in bad um bad audio but i'm going to go ahead and showcase what that's like uh just how to do it with with the app so simply uh once you have everything downloaded you you're gonna have to install windows drivers it, i already have it installed of course but you just click and it downloads and then you need the app and I think there's a free trial, but you just simply open it up and it's around $15 for this app. Um, so I have found this to be kind of before really laggy, not that great in terms of responsiveness and stuff of that nature. And there are also conditions where sometimes you have to restart your computer. Um, so this might be one of those times. Uh, actually, I don't have it open on as the Windows app too. So you gotta make sure that both the app is open and whatnot says that it's launching duet and then once it opens up we're gonna see okay so i have it set to the wrong side so when i go right it goes left um, but if you can see this on the screen there's really not that much lag um almost little to none if i open up the right window i think moving windows across really showcases it um you get you're gonna get the full ipad experience um at the highest resolution and then you can just simply put whatever you want. So I haven't found anything to indicate what high performance Pixel Perfect does, because um, it doesn't even refresh when I click when I click the thing. Um, but for the most part, guys, they have drastically improved this. That this is now my number one use for an, uh, as a second monitor. If I'm going to go to my iPad as a second monitor, there are other options. Of course, is getting like a USB C uh, or like a portable monitor, but um, you know, when I first made this, I was traveling in Sacramento. Um, so I have some of that old content showcasing here. Um, but my volume was low, but it was really helpful. And there's having a device that I'd want to take because I use my iPad to read Kindle and stuff of that nature. So that's something to consider when using this app. So you could go to Duet and just simply uh, check it out for yourself. I know that with the iPad or ios you a lot of times if you don't like something you return it within a certain window so from a 15 dollars one-time purchase this might be kind of uh the greatest thing ever for ipad users um because on mac os sidecar is really fast and uh you know mac os is just optimized for using the ipad but with windows it was always laggy now it's um pretty usable and I would even treat it as a second monitor editing documents having my team's windows up there that's that's actually my use case that I used when I was traveling so that's something to consider now the next option which is free is called space desk so let's just go to the site and see exactly what it is what it what it ends up doing is it it is a I'm going to shut down Duet while I'm talking about this. So Space Desk is a kind of virtualization software as well that turns uh, anything into a second monitor. So theoretically, you could also use another laptop. But for the purposes of this content, we're going to talk about how to use it from an iPad. So typically when you have it installed, um, you would go to the app. It requires a Windows installation and also a iPad installation. Um, Let's see here then it will detect it so <clears throat> here you can see um if i could show this right where is the window so it is kind of lagging right now um even on the settings that i've chosen but with space desk you have more control in terms of how lag free it could be and what I mean by that is if I go out of the settings and then you go into the settings of the app you can choose the resolution um the quality, the performance, the frame rate, stuff of that nature. But 
uh, maybe you can't see it on screen because my DSLR, but I don't even have it at full native resolution. I have it actually at uh, half of that, um, but still trying to keep the native iPad. But obviously, as I showed, it was still lagging. Um, probably to get the settings where it needs to be, I would have to turn the quality down, like image quality down, resolution. I don't really like going lower than that. And we could see, hopefully, <clears throat> we could test out the performance to see if it is any better. Um, it's still really laggy. So yeah, my, my best recommendations for anyone trying to use an iPad as a second monitor is really just stick with Duet. In 2022, this is your best option. I tried looking for other apps back when I thought Duet was trash and was really laggy. Um, and I'm going to exit out of Space Desk. But really, Duet for $15 really transforms, even if you have an old iPad, uh, something to turn into a second monitor. So if you guys are looking for something to kind of increase productivity, maybe you don't have a second monitor, maybe you guys are remote or, or traveling. Um, I'm currently on like a one-year road trip. I've uh, been living out of hotels and Airbnbs. Uh, even though I do actually have secondary monitors, sometimes my fiance uses them and I'm just stuck relegated to using my iPad. That could be something for you guys um, to, to do. Um, so whatever your settings are, if you're, this hopefully has answered a lot of questions on how to do it. You just simply buy the app and connect it wired on Duet. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, really let me know some feedback on the content. I'm kind of stuck in this zone of like what I want to do in terms of producing content. So I'm looking for feedback. I have my personal channel. I'm doing some video travel. Uh, you can check out Alan Nafaretti. And then this one's Blend Logic Tech, um, in which, you know, I don't know, part of me wants to showcase the tech laptop stuff like that to kind of make youtube content and kind of be like a grow your youtube channel um but then i kind of want to do that also in my personal channel so if anyone has any tips or anything i'd welcome any comments um or you know if you guys want to see other content i'm waiting for the m2 max to come out i decided to skip the max studio because i really never saw myself actually using it even if i did want to keep it um so maybe the m2 max will be my next laptop reviews or possibly even some costco laptop gaming laptop reviews so Long rant over. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.